Hello there, my name is Walter. I, I apologize for the shirt. I just came back from a job interview and uh, I think it went pretty well, but we'll see. Uh, the purpose of this video is to share with you guys some of the photos I've taken with all my film cameras. Uh, I own a wide selection of film cameras, everything from a 6x9 medium format camera to a 6x6 TLR medium format camera, and I own a bunch of 35mm film cameras. I primarily shoot black and white. I also shoot a lot of uh, slide film. However, I tend to shoot more black and white film because it's uh, easier to self-develop, self-process, and that can really cut down on the price of shooting film versus uh, shooting slide film, which you have to take to a lab and have them E6 process it, and that can really rack up the price of shooting film. Uh, but that's it for right now. I have more to say about film. I'll leave that for future videos. And uh, the pictures I'm going to show you right now have all been shot on film, um, slide film and black and white. And uh, I used uh, my TLR, Yashica Matt G24, I believe. I also used a Ricoh GR1 and the Minolta CLE. And there might be another camera involved somewhere, but, um, but they're all shot on film. And I hope you guys enjoy. Alrighty, so the way I'll be doing this is I'm going to show you a picture of the actual slide or negative and then I'll show you a scanned image of that slide or negative. Uh, here we have a picture I call Virgil and Temple in Los Angeles. It was set on a tripod, uh, Velia 50 on my 6x6 medium format camera and the results were awesome. It was about a uh, 30 second exposure um, but it came out pretty nice and this is one of the pictures I want to blow up optically in the dark room. And here is a scanned image of that slide you just saw. The scanner I have doesn't do the picture or the slide any justice. It looks way better on the actual slide. Um, but for right now, it's uh, the best I can do with my scanner until I, I can afford a better scanner. Uh, but I can't really complain. This picture I took in Hollywood, I took it with the Ricoh GR1. And what I like about that camera, it's uh, very small and discreet and nobody really sees it. So this one I was able to get off a uh, high angle off the floor, just pulling the lens up. And I saw this lady coming towards me and with her bag and her long legs. And I thought I might make a good picture. And uh, apparently I did. I, I like this one a lot. And here is the scanned version of that negative you just saw. Uh, this picture works for me for several reasons. Uh, I like the angle of the shot. I like the way her legs are out in the open uh, along with her high heels. You can't really tell but she, she's really short but her high heels make her tall. Uh, her white purse looks kind of cool. Also you can see the white elephant way in the background. It all kind of just works out pretty well. And here's a picture of my girlfriend's silhouette coming from the, uh, from the light of a refrigerator. It happened after a intense night of romancing. Um, she got hungry, so I followed her. Luckily, I had the Ricoh GR1 nearby, and I just snapped away. And uh, even though it's a dark picture, uh, the Ricoh has very little uh, shutter shake or camera shake, so I was able to get a nice sharp image, uh, despite it being dark. And here is the scanned image of my girlfriend's silhouette. As you can see, it came out really sharp and uh, with that nice detail from the refrigerator and uh, yeah, it uh, came out pretty good. And the picture in the center is a picture of a man at the Riverside Mission Hotel. I like this picture a lot, however, I don't like the film that I used to shoot it with. It's a uh, Kodak BW400CN which uses a C41 process. And from what I hear, I can't really take this to a dark room and play with it as much, uh, but um, came out really good. Here is the scanned image. This picture I like a lot, uh, simply because it has a lot of detail, uh, a lot of contrast. And uh, the only bad thing is I can't take this to a dark room, like I said before, but it came out really nice. This uh, was shot at the Griffith Observatory uh, with a 6x6 mini format camera. I shot this handheld. Uh, you can see downtown LA from a distance. 
And again, this is one of those pictures I would like to blow up optically in a dark room using some uh, SIBA prints or SIBA chrome paper and uh, see how it comes out. And this picture I took at a nightclub in Alhambra, California. Uh, I shot this with my Ricoh GR1 and it just shows the benefit of having a small camera. This picture, I put the camera on the countertop of the bar and just pointed up and I saw the lights hitting the, the fog and it, and it looked pretty cool and it came out pretty good too. And here is a scan image of that picture. And one of the good things about this uh, picture there is very little post editing or post messing around with any software. So just the way it came up in the scanner, it came out pretty good. Uh, this picture was taken in, uh, in San Pedro. I couldn't find the negative somewhere in my folder. I can't really find it, but I, I did take this picture. I, I took it with the GR1 and I like the way, uh, I like the silhouette of people walking around playing with the soccer ball and it just works out pretty well. And that concludes my photo portfolio. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, I'll be making more of these in the future. Uh, in the meantime, if you want to see more detailed uh, photos, uh, check out my website, www.photogreedy.com and go out and shoot. I know I do.